So this is the self-development with tactics. Book. Well, I guess this is the shortest one that I've ever seen on this website. It is just a really amazingly short story. Yeah. Well, actually, summary. You know, not story, but I guess, you know, in the end it could also be a story because I don't know. Yeah, but with that being said, hello and welcome back to the next episode of the Self-Development with Tactics fucking podcast. And I should not swear. I guess I should really make one single episode in my lifetime where I'm not swearing. Just on purpose. On purpose, not swearing. But yeah, um, today we're actually going through another book summary. But this time it is actually an incredibly short book summary, even though we are on the um, alanchang.com website. It is extremely short. It really is. I even think that we... Oh, okay, I see. Well, this is just only a preview of the just whole entire one. And for the whole book summary, you do just have to buy his book. Um, or do, do you even have to subscribe to the website? Yeah, I think it is. Well, I do think it is actually a new form of his site. Wait a second. There's actually a new book summary. You are a badass. Let's actually see whether it is the case for everything. It is the case. Well, I guess the whole structure of book summary websites has changed. Well, you know what? Well, no. You don't what? <laughs> you don't know what. I think I'll just still go through it. I don't know if it is actually a good book. I haven't had a look at it. I just decided, okay, I know... I had a look at it, just scrolled through, I've seen, okay, it is just pretty short, let's actually go through it, um, to let you know as well, yeah, yeah, here we are, so we are going ahead, or we are going through the life-changing magic of tidying up, um, well, yeah, you know, I do hope that it is a good book, but you can see there, just let me scroll, 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 there it is, there's just this fading kind of thing, and then it clearly shows me, okay, it's gonna be like, well, um, okay, you have to subscribe, you have to just uh, do something, you have to kind of just subscribe to his book thing. Well, it is called short form. It is called short form. So, yeah. Well, uh, you know, let's see anyways. The thing is, we could also jump to the jamesclear.com website where you can also find pretty great book summaries even you know they're extremely great but i do just have to show you something this is my setup so i do just have clothes everywhere you know it is just it's just not normal <laughs> it really is not any long you know i have clothes clothes everywhere just in the workspace here and i do hope and i do even guess you know that the whole kind of echo thing got really better you know, because, like, there's no fucking way anything bounces off of anything. But, yeah, nevertheless, or actually anyways, I do think I'll just start with the summary. So, have too much stuff and not sure how best to get rid of it. Marie Kondo is a world-renowned expert on tidying, on tidying, and this book teaches you how to get past the most common barriers preventing you from decluttering. The principles in this book are the basis of the hit Netflix show Tidying Up with Marie Kondo. Go through the KonMari method once and you may find your relationship with things to be changed permanently. People have reported damning their desire to shop for new things and feeling more peaceful around their home. What does tambering mean? The fine rain tampened her face, moisted damp, wet, dew, water, irrigate, humidify, well, uh, I don't know. So personally, I went through a KonMari, KonMari cleaning, I went through a KonMari cleaning a few years ago and instantly became more minimalistic. I wanted to buy fewer things and continue keeping the same level of organization. In this life-changing magic, 
in this life-changing magic of tidying up summary, you will learn uh, what sparking joy means and why most of what you own doesn't do this. How to get over common cleaning barriers like regretting a purchase or having clothes you don't fit in to anymore. And the last one is why sentimental items are the hardest to discard and how to do it successfully. Uh, now, we are going ahead with the first uh, or one page summary, not the first page summary, but one page summary. But what I'm noticing with all the clothes is that I extremely sweat here. And it is just really, well, it is bothering actually, you know, because nothing is tidied up. And it feels a little bit better, you know, when I'm sitting here, my, my desk is actually a little bit, you know, at least better like this. And I do not feel like, okay, everything is just sitting on me. Um, it feels a little bit better, but I know and I understand that there is no fucking echo when I'm having this setup, and this is amazing, you know, this is just really great, and I think it just really ups the quality a little bit as well. Um, still, yeah, I'm gonna go through this one. I think it is a, you know, it is really sad, you know, that he decided, so Alan Chang, to to actually have some some paid thing on his website because it was such an amazingly good website. It was one of the best websites you can be on for book summaries because they were so incredibly long. They were for free, now not any longer, and they were just amazing. They're just insanely amazing because you get so much information through just, well, uh, such less time, actually. Well, yeah. Let's see and let's move on and let's uh, notice maybe things. I don't know. So many of us have difficulty keeping our home tidy because we were, I think it is actually tidying up, isn't it? Or tidied up. Like, okay, something is tidied up. Your room is tidied up. But I guess I'm actually wrong. So many of us have difficulty keeping our homes tidy because we were never taught how. But tidying is a simple act and there are actually only a few reasons why we have difficulty tidying. People who can't tidy fall into three categories. They can't get rid of things, they can't organize things or a combination of both. <laughs> so most of us all fall into the last category. Well, I assumed, I guess. No, I haven't, but you know, well, you know, while I was reading, I actually thought like, you know, who am I? You know, who am I in these three categories? And I thought, like, you know what? Well, it's actually the case that I'm, you know, the third one, so that I'm actually something both. Um, but, well, you know, I'm really not just organized or something. You know, I really don't organize things, you know, no matter if it's about just work, if it's about my room, if it's about various things. I'm not the most organized person there is on this planet. Which is one of my flaws, I just totally admit. But uh, the thing is, should I be organized does this make sense for me or would it make some something else worse for me something that i've been uh been asking oh now it's lagging or it's not um something that i've actually been asking myself through a teacher of mine talking to me i actually have to get my cap there it is there it is it would even be nice if I have some barrier there that you can't see on the screen so that maybe there are even not as much or there is not even as much noise coming from my PC to the microphone as normally. I'm just you know, being a little silent. I do just have to see because I do have some audio meter there. Well, yeah, you know, it is pretty silent. I think you can still hear it, which is, I guess, just, well... It is what it is. But yeah, so, you know, I was talking to a teacher of mine because we ended a certain project, a certain design project. It was about um, designing something for a particular era in history. And we had propaganda and, well, actually only propaganda and uh, propaganda in 1933, actually, which means, okay, there were some Nazis and okay, there were um, some Soviet things as well um, but it was pretty interesting and it is pretty nice to see the style of actually how they design things and whatsoever it was you know definitely most of the time or quite often constructivism or constructivism whatever um a pretty interesting a pretty nice style and you know, it's just really interesting to see okay how it was made or you know what style they had just various 
years ago or multiple years ago actually um but the thing was you know in the end i did just discuss it a little bit with my teacher and he said like okay something that uh that you are not so he wasn't that direct if i remember correctly but in the end he just told me okay i am not the organized or most organized person there is you know in on this fucking planet and i'm really not you know and then he said something like okay you know before you just can head out into the world or something like this you gotta have to just learn how to do this and i thought like you know for sure i said like okay yeah i understand this and you know this is just, well, this is not me, I understand this about myself, I'm really not the most organized thing, I just really know that, you know, it's not some secret for me, (laughs) but um, the thing is, I don't know if this would actually make something worse for me, maybe my speed, maybe my ability to be creative also through the speed that I'm having, because, you know, if I would just, well, tidy everything, you know, if I would organize everything, if I would just have certain organizational or organized structures in every project that I'm having, wouldn't this just kind of, well, handicap me from actually being as fast as I am at the time or as I, as I am just with things? Because I guess it would actually be the case, you know, it would be the case just because I would just have to take the extra time to organize the things, to make the structure and to do those things. The thing that is... I don't know if this is then worth it, you know, because my speed and my ability to do things maybe faster than than other people, well, yeah, it definitely is due to me not organizing anything. <laughs> Even though it sounds so kind of like, okay, you know, I give a fuck about my organization. Well, sometimes it just really, you know, messed up a lot of things as well. Like, you know, okay, sometimes you can't find anything then or you just well, you know, something is lost then and something like this, which is not nice, which is really not nice. Um, Then you do just have to do multiple multiple things three times or something just because you have lost your progress. This is just what happens, you know, sometimes at least. Um, But yeah, but yeah. Let's actually see, you know, let's move ahead. Let's see. Um, So in this one-page summary, we share a high-level overview of the con- Murray method, but if it is unclear, there are many more details on how to exactly do, how to exactly to implement these steps in the full summary. Tidying at a high level. The basic process is to discard first and then organize what's left, which makes sense. Like, okay, you know, if I think about my room or if I think about rooms in general, it, well, hmm, pretty difficult. You know, it would just make sense if you do throw away those things that you do not need at first and then just organize it. Even though, you know, you could also just be like, okay, I'm organizing everything, and then I just throw away the things that I do not need any longer, which would totally be okay as well, I guess, at least. Um, But well, yeah. So um, most people tidy by going through a small portion of of object firsts, of objects first. Usually by con convenience and then trying to put that small portion away before they start on everything else think of a desk you go through the stuff on uh you go through the stuff on top of your desk discard everywhere or whatever you don't need anymore and then immediately try to put what's left in the drawers but then you find the drawers are fully and cluttered full and cluttered because you haven't gone through everything first so you give up and the clutter remains um well, it makes sense. You know, it really makes sense to, to actually kind of clean up everything at first. So really everything that you guess um, you will need. So um, like, well, yeah, okay, I'm going to need the drawer. So might be smart if I just also clean up the drawer at first so that I can organize the shit in it later so that I do not get distracted or demotivated or whatsoever. By the way, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> no, all the links are down in the description if you want to. There are daily posts there and there's daily value there. So just check it out. Would be nice. Do it, please. And there you can also see some slider for the people um, on the video. But yeah. But yeah. Um, well, yeah, you know, move on. Let's move on. Um, the KonMari process helps you avoid these stopping points. Don't do it don't do it little by little. Do your whole house in one go. 
as much as you can depending on your schedule. It's fine if it takes up to six months. And go by category and not by room. For each category, gather all the items together in a giant pile. Discard first and then organize what's left. So here's the correct order that makes things mentally easier. Clothes, books, paper, kimono, which is mis- mis- is it miscellany or miscellany? I think it's miscellany because it's also miscellaneous. So miscellany, I guess, at least. And then sentimental items. For each category, go through every single item like so. Pick it up, ask yourself, does this item spark joy? If it does, keep it. If it doesn't, thank, uh, thank it for everything. It's done for you. Then move, then move it to the discard or donate pile. I'm going to read it again because you know, I want to read it nicely. So if it doesn't, thank it for everything. It's done for you. And then move it to the discard or donate pile. I would totally say donate or actually sell pile. You know, because we all have the ability to sell shit on eBay. It works or various other platforms like, I don't know, you know, Craigslist. And, you know, every country, I guess, has some some of their own, well, uh, kind of online marketplaces. Also, Facebook marketplace, for example, is also um, a great choice, I guess. I have never ever sold something there as well as not on, on eBay. But, um, but yeah, you know, it is a pretty nice thing to do because, well, yeah, you bought them once and you get just some money back. You know, even if it's one fucking buck, you know, it is just something, you know, it really is something. And if you do have just 10 things, you know, worth ten, one buck, buck, then you got to have 10 one, 10 bucks, which is good, which is nice. And uh, with the 10 bucks, you could just, well, I don't know, donate again. Uh, So after you have discarded items in a certain category, then you can move on to organize what's left in that category. So when you organize, keep your storage as simple as possible. Use what your home already has as as opposed to buying a lot of complicated storage solutions that ultimately end up cluttering your space even more. Ideally, you should be able to see everything you own at a glance. Well, I didn't want to do that. Fuck off. No, I do not want to... Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> and ideally, you should be able to see everything you own at a glance or a glance. I don't know. And get whatever you need easily. Vertical storage is better than horizontal storage, which is like so and not like so. So horizontal, I don't know. You know, if some people actually have some difficulties with that. But, but I, you know, I had. Unless I realized like, okay, horizontal is like the horizon. Like, okay, it is just this thing. And vertical just is the opposite of it. So just by just remembering what horizontal is, you will also just remember like the other thing, which is great, you know, because, you know, sometimes, and I guess some other people also have maybe some difficulties with that. Because who knows? Um, Which is not bad, like, which is nothing kind of to think about. I even can't read just an analog clock. Something that I can't you know if i do just want to do it i can most of the time i just you know i'm I'm choosing a digital one you know before i actually just take the time and the effort actually of well going through an analog clock i just choose the digital one because i can read it way faster and everything is just well maybe it's because of convenience maybe you should learn it just because well i i know it you know i do not have to learn it but i'm just way well it is not really fast for me and efficient, I think. But yeah. But yeah, this is a different story. <laughs> it really is. Um, tidying for each category. Clothing. If you have a lot of clothes or want a more organized approach, break it down into subcategories like tops, bottoms, hanging clothes, socks, undergarments, bags, accessories, event specific clothing like swimsuits, and shoes. There are two major categories of clothes people have difficulty dealing with. The first one is clothes they bought but never wore. And the second one is clothes they hope to fit into one day. Well, you know, what about the third one? Like clothes that are just uh, too small or you just are not able to fit into any longer. But you do just want to keep them because you might lose weight and then you are able to fit in them again. 
what about them? <laughs> Don't leave them out. Nah, um, but, well, yeah, do, do I have such a problem? You know, I do have, well, well, I might have a problem with actually throwing things away because I do not really throw anything away. Um, you know, sometimes I think like, okay, maybe I'm gonna need it. Um, in the end, I don't <laughs> most of the time, actually. Um, but in terms of clothes, it is really like, you know, even though it might not be the most fanciest one, it might not be the nicest t-shirt or somewhat, I'm still gonna keep it, you know? Or... Um, I don't know if you have some some places to donate your clothes to just just well actually to is it the Red Cross or to the ambulance? Well, you know maybe there is some some place where you can donate your old clothes um, in a real big plastic bag or something or just you know every single piece as it's as such. Well, yeah, um, maybe you should do this. I guess this is just a better thing to just than just to. Well, you can also sell it. Like, clothes are also one of the things, especially vintage things. You know, people buy these things. You know, especially if it's branded stuff, they they will probably get sold on eBay or just Facebook again. You know, it depends on the things. You know, Facebook has a different kind of community, so, or the just Facebook marketplace has a different community than the eBay marketplace and whatsoever. So I do think you just have to sit uh, to search for uh, similar items on these certain platforms and then see if they got sold or not um, which you can often do in the filters to actually uh, searching for the things that have already been sold so that you also can kind of just uh, say and 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 well well yeah say um, how much you're gonna sell yours for but yeah let's move on let's move on yeah so for clothes you bought, uh, you bought but never wore. Thank them for teaching you that you don't like to wear that style of clothing, and discard them. Okay. For clothes you hope to fit into one day, clothes that you can't wear right now or uh, now are useless to you unless you are on the verge of being able to wear them and actively working towards that goal. Thank them for motivating you to get in better shape, discard them and buy clothes that fit you in your current size and spark joy. Folding and storing, well, you know, I'm not quite agreeing with that, you know, because, you know, chances are there. And, you know, I wouldn't, discard is like throwing away, isn't it? You know, I do not want to get it wrong. But, you know, if it is the case, I do just have to say, like, donate it, I guess. I know donating is way better than just throwing things away or selling them. Selling them. You know, I don't want to do this, I guess. I don't want either one of those. But not throwing them away. You know, I maybe I don't like throwing away just as such. But, well, it doesn't seem to be quite the best option there. At least for me. Folding and storing vertically is better than hanging in terms of storage. The goal... Well, it is actually the case. You know, because I do just... You see the closet there? Well, how could I... The doors. So I do just have two doors and one door. There's one door and there are the two doors. The two doors, there's actually some hanging stuff in there. And I don't like the hanging thing. Uh, even though it is way more organized than the other shit that I'm having. You know, in the one door thing, nothing is organized. You know, I once... You know, quite once... Every like every half a year, I guess you know probably best kind of time span. I do, I do organize everything, and then in like well, two weeks, three weeks. Well, sometimes I'm actually just really giving a fuck about letting it stay so clean and you know tied it up and whatsoever. But most of the time, you know, it really gets messed up after like well. Uh, five weeks, you know, it, it is not a month, it, well, it, well, maybe actually under a month or something, but yeah, but yeah. So, so some clothes need to be hung, like suits and dresses, and these could be grouped by category. Also, I, I haven't read the whole one. So folding and storing vertically is better than hanging in terms of storage. The goal for folding is to make the smallest, smoothest, smoothest, simplest rectangle that can stand up on its own. 
the short form note, there are much more detailed constructions or instructions in chapter 5. I also think so, and I also believe in actually rolling things, as I'm just thinking about it. Especially also because uh, also for um, packing your, well, your, what is it called? Packing your, your, um, your suitcase. Is this a suitcase? I think so. Well, yeah. Yeah, it is the suitcase. Um, you know, it would make sense to roll things. You know, it seems actually also to be the case that rolling things uh, lets you have more space. So they just get tinier by rolling. I don't know if this is the case, but I guess if I would roll things, would this make everything... Well, the good thing about rolling would be, you know, if you roll everything and if you do just have some... Can I show you? Is there something like just... Yeah, I can. So, like you can see, well, how should I do it? Like so. Okay. Or not actually. Well, yeah, actually this way. Um. <laughs> and as you can see, I do just have, you know, quite square spaces there. I know it is, well, it is pretty much a square. It is not really a square. Well, it could actually be one. It could actually be a square. <laughs> Nevertheless, you know, I think if I would actually kind of group them or if I would just roll, the, roll them and and stack them like you do with wines, quite often I'm maybe going to show you a picture. Window capture. Maybe I can find something. I do hope that I can find something. Could you please just... Let me be able to do so. Thank you very much. Wine storage. I don't know if this is actually called like this, but I think so. Well, I have a thought. I have thought about some. Yeah, I've thought about such a thing. Even though there are many other things that I can show you there. Um, no wine storage. Yeah, it is actually the... So yeah, um, as you can see, or as you actually cannot see, you know what? You know what? Can't I do this? I want to have you up there. Not like down there. Well, you cannot tell me that I'm... Huh? Now you can see me. Yeah. Anyway, the thing is, uh, I thought about something like this, where you do just roll things so that they are just like, you know, those bottles. Sorry for the sound. It is my anti-smell thing. Um, if you do just have those bottles, like, laid in like this, then you could just stack them pretty easily. Like, you know, in uh, probably in such a way and form, so that they're just stacked, but also just in between those little spaces where there is nothing, as you can see. Um, more like... No, nah, they don't do it like I think about it. Um, you know, you could also do something like this, you know, even though it, it might just not be the most efficient way. But, but, but I think, you know, for all the podcast listeners, I'm just thinking about a way of, of stacking these, um, as you do with wines. And normally, or often, you do just have your wines in square spaces, but um, they are not like, okay, the flat side is on the bottom, but a corner is on the bottom, so, do, so that you just have an, well, how should I say, and um, so that you have um, like the square, but it is not laying flat there, but it is just like, just taller. Well, it is not actually taller, but um, I think you know what I mean, because sometimes with the wines, it is not so so that the wines are actually kind of in a rectangular shape even. You know, because you're laying them inside of there. And I don't know why you actually do this. This might be, might just be better for the wine, I guess. If it's just like here, like there, whatsoever. Or it might be just pretty efficient to do so. Or pretty cheap. I don't know. I don't know. But maybe let's see actually... Nah, I think it actually is what it is, because 
the next one's going to be books and then papers and then other things and this would then have this would have been it then yeah <laughs> um the thing is there's only so so less left mm. it feels a little bit shitty to just stop the end episode there but i but i know that i would just go through it as quickly as possible and this wouldn't then be so nice especially those not for you as well but yeah um well the voice meter is just pretty low because of this setup here. Well, I uh, wish you the best health, health, happiness and success. And I also hope that you're going to remind yourself on how you gonna be remembered. Which means your legacy, you know. Uh, because you totally have it in your control how you're going to be remembered. Either as a good person or as a bad person. You basically decide. Even though I do also have to say that people just... Not everyone's gonna like you. Really not everyone's gonna like you. Just by default doesn't actually have anything to do with you. Could be the case sometimes. Well, it could also be the case that, you know, you just don't want to be blamed. But, well, not everyone's going to like you. But, yeah, uh, thank you very much for listening and or watching. I see you the next time. Yeah, hopefully, at least. <laughs> I see you.